<laughs> so now before we move on to the regular nooks and crannies of the Pope on Film podcast, Bunny. Yes. Of course, we have to talk about the premiere of, of the new season of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Do we? You know, of course, we got to talk about Game of Thrones. That's what everybody's talking about. Game of Thrones came back. Game of Thrones came yes. back. Oh, man. And I am excited, and I know that you are excited. Oh, man. I, I, as, as you all know, Bunny and I, uh, uh, a Game of Bunnies, A Clash of Bobs, Dance with <laughs> Genies. Bunny and I are huge Game of Thrones fans. We've read all of the books. Uh, we, we we have watched every episode like a, a hundred times. And, and not an episode of this podcast has gone by without Bunny and I just going on and on about our love of Game of Thrones. Yeah. So the new season just premiered. Season Time's seven? Pretty sure we're seven. Yeah. Season seven. Yeah, season seven. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season seven. Sure. Season seven. We are really huge sure. fans. Sure, huge fans. That's it. Huge fans. So uh, of course we got to talk about the new episode of Game of Thrones that just that just happened. So this is how I thought we could do it. Um, we can take turns. One of us can talk about something that happened in the last episode of Game of Thrones, yeah. and then the other person can talk about that thing and then bring up something that they liked about the episode. Okay. And then just sort of take turns. I'll go first. Because uh, you already it, have a freaking list made, and you just threw it on actually, us. Actually, no. I just wrote take turns and then a squiggly arrow. Ah. A, squiggly, a squiggly arrow is my <laughs> uh, my way of of writing just riff on it. Yes. Okay. So I do not have a list in front of me. But I don't need a list, Genie, because <laughs> I watched this new episode of Game of Thrones because I'm such oh, a huge crap. fan. And... Oh my god, I have to talk about it because it was amazing. Okay. Yes. So, let me go first. I th I okay. think the part of the new episode of Game of Thrones that really just blew me away is when uh Tyrone Dylan Forg yeah turned on his sister and raped that dragon. Wasn't that amazing? That was that pretty amazing. I, I, I had never known how dragon rape would go before, and now I do. Yeah. And yeah. I feel enriched Only on by HBO. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only on HBO. What, what, but what uh, but we, we, have to talk, we have to talk about the elephant in the room for this episode. Yeah. You know, I mean... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The dragon rape was great, but really, the Sarah Jessica Parker cameo. You know, I mean, I understand that she's really, really <sighs> hot with the millennials right now. Yeah, all the kids are talking about Sarah Jessica Parker, Sarah Jessica Parker, but she just does not belong on Game of Thrones. She yeah. looks like an idiot. Personally, I was hoping, like I heard that Sarah Jessica Parker was going to have a cameo in the new episode of Game of Thrones. And, and at first I got excited because I was like, oh, maybe she'll be beheaded or something. You know, have her yeah. have her have her ass eaten by rats or some fucked up thing. Yeah. But no, she just she just uh, sang a song and did a strip tease. She and then... sang the Magic Garden song. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Yeah. See but ya, see I... ya. Hope you have a good, good morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a bit of. It was a bit of. Yeah. Oh, 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 but, but what about, what about that sex scene with, with the twins and the midget inside of the dungeon full of spiders? Yeah. That was incredible. That, that was incredible. Like, I had goose, I had goose pimples for that. That was very thrilling. Yeah. Yeah, that blew me away. That blew me away. I, let me tell you something too. I was just—I I had an erection through this whole episode. <laughs> I was just so excited for new Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, and what about what about what about the prophecy concerning the little man? Yeah, and 
the Skylanders. Yeah. That that was incredible. That was incredible, but you know, from what I heard, that is there are bits and pieces of it of it all through the previous six seasons. Yeah, yeah. Leading up to you that know, prophecy. You know, I heard that too. I thought that was just a fan theory, but anyway, yeah. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, and rewatch those. And goddamn, the one thing that I can say for this episode. Jason Terwilliger. You know? Oh, yes. Just Jason Terwilliger. Yeah, yeah. You know, and a lot of other people aren't really willing to say that because it's still kind of early to be making yeah. any sort of prediction like that. Yeah. I'm going with, I'm just going with fucking Jason Terwilliger. Who knew he had such range? Yeah. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. He had He had just an amazing range. Yeah. And I was really blown away by that. Oh, well, but he, what was, about... he was an old vaudevillian performer. Yeah. 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 But what about, a, especially, especially, got to talk about the scene at the end with the, the, the giant battle mm-hmm. between the ice monsters yeah. and the bastard people. I didn't know it could light up. Yes. I, you, you know? Yes. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. Like, what? Yeah. I rewatched, I rewatched that whole scene in slow motion. Because I just I wanted to <laughs> capture every frame. I'm so glad. Do you see I'm the so... one stuntman on the trampoline? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. When you slow it down. Yeah. When you slow it down, it is so obvious. I'm so glad that we were able to 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 once again to once again you know gab a little bit about Game of Thrones cuz yeah. again you and I are such big fans <laughs> huge fans I I especially like the characterization that they're doing with uh Thrombone Dylan Farber Yes you know he, the way the way that he killed his father and raped his mother and then raped his father and killed his mother and then mm-hmm. and then turned on his brother and married his sister and yeah. then killed his brother and sister and then married their corpses i thought you know yeah. that that was that was probably the best arc of the third season and it was and it was such a small plot line, but it, yeah. it's really been threatening to overtake the main story. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And 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 and, and then the village of mutes to the east of Stark Tower. Yeah. I I really think that that's going to be the hotbed of the battle of the dragon keepers. Uh Uh-huh. But that's just my theory. That's just my theory. That's just my theory. I want to be clear about that. Yeah. I'm hoping at least. Anyway, I I can't wait for more Game of Thrones. I can't wait for the next episode. I'm having a viewing party. We're all going to sit here and then we're going to watch it. And then (laughs) we're going to watch it backwards. Yeah. To see if there are any like back masking secret messages like in like and then the we're gonna episode of season three yeah 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 and then we're gonna watch it forwards with a black light to see if anything pops up yeah yeah there's a possibility and then, yeah and then we're gonna watch the episode again but this time we're all gonna be blindfolded so we we only hear watch the episode uh-huh. which i which is something that i'm doing I think since season four, and, yeah. and it's really helped me out. Of course, season four that was the season with the 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 the, the, the wedding, the the white wedding. Yeah. Billy Idol was amazing in that episode. Have you have with Game of Thrones? Have you tried tantric viewing? 
No, I haven't. How do you yeah. do that? Do well, you that? get into you get you have to get into one sexual position, and then maintain that sexual position for the season. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Yeah. That sounds exciting. Like I, like uh, Natasha and I like doing the Congress of the Cow. <laughs> is the position that we like. So we would just stay there. She wears a bell. She wears a bell around her neck. Okay. That's probably the most important part of the move. <laughs> and then you just got to stay there. I wear uh, overalls because <laughs> okay. I'm the farmer. <laughs> I'm the farmer in this scenario. But do you, with like do one you have of a, do you have do you have a bit of wheat between your teeth? Yes, yes. Well, I have a bit of wheat between my teeth all of the time now to help me pass. Now that I live in Oklahoma, good plan. As long as I have wheat between my teeth, I think the cops have not been killing me. Yes. So that that is that's that's a little that's a little pro tip for everybody listening. Just FYI. <laughs> Just to help you out. 